Planet detected. Scanning. Scanning. Warning. Life form detected. Life form identified. Frank Sicardi of Cyborg Prime Games. Incoming transmission. Okay. Should be able to... Uh, there we go. Now we got... Uh, hello, everybody. I'm, and am we I should on? have... Hello. We you, should uh... have Mr. <laughs> Neil Thorpe with us, 2D Storyteller. <laughs> I suck at Discord so badly. <laughs> oh man, I I was like broadcasting with the freaking mic turned off. Yeah, it's fun. Hello everybody, welcome back. Uh, that was really a uh, cool interview. Uh, Neil Neil's joining us. Uh, <clears throat> let's uh, let's uh, do a giveaway before we uh, start. We got two giveaways going on during this break. First, we're going to give away a copy of Hostile Organism for Rule Twenty. Uh, you got to have a Rule Twenty account, but it's free. Hop on over to Rule 20 and make one. Um, in the meantime, it's not too late to enter the drawing. Uh, pop on over to the Cyborg Prime website, go to the blog, and you'll see the event um, page highlighted there. And there is a uh, hop on down to the uh, prizes uh, or giveaway section and uh, enter your name uh, in the uh, to register for the drawing. And we'll do it. And I'll give you I'll give you just a couple of seconds while. We say hello to Mr. Uh, Mr. Neil. Hello. Welcome. Mr. Neil. Hello, Mr. Prime. How are you? I'm doing all right. It's a, uh, it's a rather temperate day here in the UK. Uh -huh. Not too warm, not too cold, which is just the way out like. Thanks for joining us. It's uh, cool to have you here live. Alive. Yeah, thanks for having me, dude. <laughs> Gordon! <laughs> so, um, all right. Now uh, let's let me look at the uh, situation here, and uh, we'll have you pick. We'll have you actually do the, the the pick. So how do I how do we do this pick then? Do I just pick a, so, a number? Yeah, man. Uh, I have a, I have, Yeah. Well, uh, you can roll a die or however you decide to generate the random number. But there's uh, 89 people in the, on the list right now, and uh, so uh, why don't you pick a number between? Um, one and eighty-nine. Between one and eighty-nine. Oh. Um, sixty-six. Sixty-six. <laughs> My birthday. All right, and the winner is uh, Michael N of Gmail. Check your uh, spam box. We will notify you by email of uh, your winning and uh, let you know how to claim your prize. Folks, if you didn't if you didn't get to win the hostile organism, that's okay. There's going to be another chance at the end of the evening um, when we give away our mega bundle grand prize pack avalanche of ginormous proportions of freaking... Traveler stuff from our generous, generous donors. So thank you, donors. Nice. Yes. Um, I mean, let's so, see. There's plenty of hostile organisms in the crew to go around. So yeah. Oh, yeah. The hostile organisms. I resemble that remark. That should be one of the three <laughs> things I picked to put in my backpack, probably. <laughs> I mean, I'm, it's not like I'm evil. It's more yeah. like a really aggressively I could chaotic. I my control. tentacle for yeah. the hostile organism. <laughs> yeah, th yeah. Does that count? If you have this, just because you have a tentacle, does that make you a hostile organism? I don't know. I suppose it depends what you do with the tentacle. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Oh, you don't want to. So the answer is yes. Really? There's always time for lubricant. <laughs> <laughs> the shock, the shock, the shock, but shock batons to the nether regions also probably stack up in the hostile. Uh, yeah, department. yeah. Yeah, that's definitely. At least you guys that's got my the signature move, all right? Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, it's, it's stun stick to yeah. the nuts. All right, all right. We yeah. all know. All right, so we so uh, let's see. We gotta we have to fit in time to do um, another the next um, the next two interviews are back to back. So we're gonna give away a uh, little prize pack from Stella Gamma right before their um, interview, but we still have some time to kill. So uh, some discussion came up in the chats about. Um, uh, you know how you meet in the in the tavern. So uh, let's go around with the crew, 
and uh, talk about how they met. Um, we there was some of the crew have have died and moved on, uh, but three of <laughs> the two of the original crew are still here. But we'll start with um, we'll start with uh, first, uh, Braz, because, yeah, uh, go with yeah, yeah go with you and uh, and, and Gomos. Now. Yeah, yeah. So how did oh, you and Gomos? How did you and Gomos yeah, come so, to meet? And then we'll go from there. So, yeah, Make the backstory fast, for though. our characters is kind of interesting. And, and, I mean, he can delve into his side of it a bit more. But, uh, obviously, with my character being, a, uh, you know, an admiral, um, at the time I was in, uh, I was still in the Navy. I was an admiral. And uh, my, uh, my battle group was tasked with uh, a sudden extraction of a brilliant scientist who had... Uh, done some fairly deplorable things in research on a certain planet. I'll leave Gomos to explain about the, uh, the, uh, the child murdering. Um, and, uh, <laughs> and so we had to extract him and, uh, that's, that's how we met. Um, I've, you know, I, I was the group that went in, uh, uh, with the Navy and, you know, sent some Marines down to extract him out and got him back out. And, uh, after, uh, you know, after our careers ended, we went different ways, but we ended up, kind of coming back together and I became a part owner of uh, actually a lab ship originally that he 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 had majority ownership we were kind of planning a, a retirement uh, cruise haunted uh, haunted cruise ship with the laptop uh, the lab ship and uh, kind of that's that's where I joined the crew as a part owner and as the pilot all right and then shenanigans ensued and right. and distillery expert turns out right right <laughs> All right, so Gomos, why don't you continue from uh, from when you decided to go into business with um, with Admiral Crow? Well, um, after you went into business, I uh, lucrative I was... lucrative business, I might point out. Yes, uh, very actually, we're quite wealthy. Um, uh, after, what made you uh, give up your lab your up... lab ship? Yeah, that's it. So um, when I got uh, uh, drummed out, we'll say, of um, my career in academia. Um, I was still due a very large pension. Part of that compensation package was a lab ship. Um, uh, it was a little behind the time, a little sort of long in the tooth, but uh, a lot of characters, so much so that it was actually haunted. Um, uh, and we were planning on putting together some kind of a sort of, you know, semi-hokey haunted tours thing. Um, as the meta side, it would have made for great, like, story stuff but when it came down to it the ship was costing us like over two hundred thousand dollars a month to maintain it was just uh, was not gonna happen so we sold it off um and uh downsized and kept some of the balance and put it into a tricked out scout ship um with a slightly reworked interior that uh we've been uh operating out of since and right. uh after we met up um I don't know. Uh, we wound up getting sucked into deeper and deeper, you know, stories and adventures and stuff like that. And a couple of years, real world of gameplay later, here we are. All right, cool. And uh, so uh, let's uh, let Mr. Katz. How did you come to uh, meet? How did you come to join the crew? Uh, well, it was a little bit further down the timeline. Um, I'm not going to go into my back story and history but let's yeah just we, say, we've only got like two minutes but go on uh yeah i landed on a what looked like a deserted planet in an escape pod um i'd been there for a couple of months uh trying to survive on my own and it was like a jungle and um a jungle forest and um all of a sudden i saw a ship landing not far off in the distance and Lo and behold, my future crewmates. Yes, and it did not start off too well in the beginning, but we did synergize eh, as time went on. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, all right. And uh, let's see, we still got a we still got a minute. Uh, Ricard, if you want to quickly summarize, uh, you kind of went over it, but give us another quick summary of how you came to the crew, joined the crew. Uh, yeah, I retired as a scout, and I was. Uh, hire myself out just in advertisements as a archaeologist and drone specialist and uh as it turned out i ran across these people sorely abusing the person that wanted to 
quit the job that I ended up getting hired for. So good and bad start. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Okay, so there's some of the interesting backstories. We'll talk about those some more on the other side of these next. We have two back-to-back -back interviews, starting with uh, Umar Golan Joel of Stella Gamma Publishing, and we also have the winner of uh, the next uh, little prize pack, which is from Stella Gamma Publishing. You're going to win These Stars Are Ours, The Sword of Cepheus, and their top-selling uh, uh, game, Barbaric. You're going to get digital copies of all three of those, and the Winner is uh, Andrew at Gmail, who I believe is listening in on one of our chats because I recognize your name. So uh, we will check. We will catch you by uh, email. Congratulations! Right. And now we'll move on to the next uh, interview, which is Omer Golanjul. If, uh, folks, if you're missing out on these prizes, don't feel bad. You can still get prizes going out throughout the day, and then there's also going to be a ginormous mega prize at the end of the evening. So hop on over to cyborgprime.com and uh, go to the blog, check in there for um, uh, the event page, and you'll see how to register for the drawings there. we still got tons of stuff coming up. So that's it. Uh, crew, go ahead and mute your mics, and here we go with Mr. Omar Golan-Joel of Stella Gamma Publishing. <laughs> 